What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back for another Cupid's Corner. Every Sunday, we have this conversation with you guys, talking about some of the different experiences we may have, some tips, some tricks to hopefully help take your relationship to a whole new lovely level. <laughs> or maybe reignite those flames that, you know, diminished over time. You don't want to make sure that everything's good to go. Plus, you know, we cover some things for you single people out there too. Because obviously, you know, you're single and you need to help to find maybe a, a significant other. Yeah. Or maybe you don't. I, I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe don't. you don't want to. Yeah, right? Maybe Listen. your dog's good enough. It's great. But if you do, <laughs> we can uh, cover some subjects that are probably going to help you. But um, this one is a, a, a mass topic per se. So it covers everybody. Um, and this week, it's really important. And we take it very serious here um, in our personal life and obviously our business with Type Medical Center. And that is getting your significant other healthy or support them to be healthy mm -hmm. and to be active. For sure. I think it's a big, big topic. I know it's always a big one, but I think since this thing has come around like COVID and stuff like that, then obviously, you know, more obese people are getting this disease at a higher rate or dying. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we don't know, because at that point it's affecting a lot of different people out there. But we know that usually healthy people, um, you know, they feel better, they look better, they're performing better, their job, their personal life, or whatever it may be, um, and they're being active at the same time. So their diets are pretty good, they're working out good, um, but a lot of people are missing this in a lot of different ways. They're missing the mark in health, in activity, they're not giving their bodies what it needs, um, just to, you know, to to function every day properly. I think that's, that's a miss with a lot of people. You just overlook it pretty quickly, too, to be qu quite honest with you, especially when you're busy. I mean, you don't even have to own a business to be on that level. You can oh, literally no. just work a nine to five and then yeah. you have to go get your kids and then you got to go home and cook. And then after you got to cook, you got to do this, do that. And then next thing you look at it, it's, you know, 12 a.m. And you're like, oh, shoot, I got to get up at five or I got to get up at six or whatever it is. Yeah. And you're not getting a full eight hour sleep. Yeah. And believe it or not. I had to learn this the hard way, but believe it or not, sleep is huge. Oh, yeah. I mean, it allows your body to recover and it, you need sleep. Okay. Yeah. I know back in the day, I'd be able to go probably like two days and not be able to not sleep at all. Right. Sleep another four hours, roll in the next day, yeah. be like, bah, 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 right. Listen, I'm getting in my thirties now, you know, <laughs> slowing down a little bit. Yeah. Um, to be quite honest with you, if I got more sleep back then, I, I might've been able to do more. So I don't know, because that was then, this is now. Um, but I do know sleep is very important. And it's quickly overlooked because, like I said, people get busy. Same thing with lunch, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's say the girls here at the office, they only get a 30 minute break. So you have to decide what you're gonna eat in 30 minutes, especially if your Uber or DoorDash does not show up. You're Ooh. gonna have a problem. Ah. So you know, you're quick to eat something that's fast, and most things that are fast aren't usually good for you. That's right. So, you know, maybe pack a lunch or try to eat a little bit more healthy, make healthier choices. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, it's it's not just about like the way you look specifically. Um, it's honestly how you look on the inside too. Mm -hmm. You know, and all this stuff about diabetes and hypertension and high cholesterol and you got all this stuff going on out there. It, regardless of COVID or not, this is still gonna be you here in the near future. So either way you look at it, it's not good. So mm -hmm. if you can avoid it, why not? Absolutely. Um, and a lot of people, you know, it's just about taking preventative measures, right? Or maintenance to your body. You know, it, you know, you drive a car every day, you get the tires mm -hmm. changed or rotated, you get the oil changed, right? If something's wrong with it, you take it in, get it diagnostics, get it fixed, and everything's running good. And if that car is running optimally like it should, you're going to get better gas mileage, it's going to drive better, it's going to be safer. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to put this the, the same things to your body. Um, you got to give it the right fuel. If you don't give it good fuel, it's going to run like crap, just like a car. Um, you know, if you're not getting proper sleep, and that's recharge time, recovery time. Um, if you're working out, you're breaking down muscles, and you want them to repair, and that's when you know sleep is the biggest time when your body does repair. It recharges. You need it. Uh, you know, there's studies out there for mental function and cognitive function. You won't have good cognitive fun cognitive function, excuse me, if you sleep less than six hours in most cases. Yeah, I mean that's, you know? that's, that's a true statement. I'll yeah. be honest with you. So, like, I'm probably one of the best 
you know, examples when it comes to this. I always like to tell real life stories on our show. So real life story, you know, I have endometriosis. I've had endometriosis since I was 16 years old. I've had multiple surgeries for it, right? So I meet John, and this is a long, long time ago. Um, and you know, I used to wake up in the morning and the way I woke up was with my Coca-Cola and my cigarettes. That's how I woke up. Not a great way, I know, I know. Listen, guys, we all go through something to grow up, right? <laughs> so anyways, he, he forced me to quit smoking, um, which I did, thankfully. And now I'm going to probably be here longer because he let me, you know, told me to quit. Um, but I also stopped drinking all the Coke. And, you know, the cellulite on the back of my thighs started getting a little bit better. And I'm like, oh, wow, I don't have cellulite at 25. Thank goodness. So, you know, bigger portion of this is, you know, inflammation in the body, you know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, John would always preach to me, like, you eat that fast food, you eat this, you drink that, it's gonna, you know, make it worse. That's why you're in extra pain. Cause no matter what, I'm gonna be in pain. Right. But if I'm in doubled over pain where I can't even get out of bed, you know, it's a lot has to do with inflammation. And believe it or not, literally guys, it's like 70% of the food you're eating right now, just to get by, it causes a lot of inflammation. And I would bet 90% of you out there have something wrong that causes inflammation, whether it's a shoulder injury, whether it's arthritis, whether it's some sort, it, you could have autoimmune deficiency. All of those things are all inflammatory type stuff. Even irritable bowel syndrome. I mean, we're talking about every part of your body can have something that has to do with inflammation. You eat fried foods, you eat, you drink Coke, you do whatever. This is not good for your body. No. It fuels the inflammation and you just won't feel good. You won't feel good at all. So, I mean, it's been a game changer for me. I can't say I listened to him for a lot of years because that would be me lying to you guys. Um, but I just gotta learn the hard way. <laughs> after I got COVID and put in the ICU Jeez. and off my feet for three months, I finally decided to listen. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, this whole time, I'm like, man, you've been right this whole time. And he's like, yeah, yeah. I want to say I told you so. <laughs> he didn't tell me that. But. I'm, tell you, I'm more happy that she did it, right? <laughs> um, it's, it's a breath of fresh air. You know, I'm not having to push her to do this. I'm like, oh, because it's real hard, you know, when you're pushing somebody all the time. Like, you know, it, it gets frustrating to you. Like, man, like, all right, listen, I'm not. I'm just not going to do it no more. Like, you don't want to do it. Like, you know, but you got to stick with it. And you got to push. Um, and then some people go through traumatic you know, situations, mm -hmm. right? And it doesn't have to just be COVID. It could be, listen, a, a serious heart attack or yeah. some sort of something that happens to you very serious. And then that that should really be your wake up call. Yeah. And hopefully it's not too serious where you can't come back. Because mm -hmm. um, there's people out there like that, or terminal, terminally ill or, or die right in, the, you know, right in the spot from heart attacks or blood clots or, or all different types of things out there. Um, so at that point, listen, you guys, you guys gotta make sure that you guys are pushing your partner to be as healthy as possible. Now, nutrition is a hard one. We talked about on the road. Um, so if you guys are on the road all the time, nine to five, nine to six, now even with us, we're just like 24 seven, like we're working 24 seven, like literally Sharice mm -hmm. like, you gotta eat, you gotta eat. And I literally have to stop. I'm the type of person <laughs> that, listen, when I get my, my mind focused on something or I'm, I'm starting mm -hmm. a task, I gotta complete that task before I go do anything else. I'm like, but you have to eat now. You know, I put everything aside. <laughs> That's just the mentality that I've always had. So at that point, listen, I got to relax. I got to eat, right? Or I'm not going to, you know, gain the lean muscle tissue that I want to or even take in enough calories that I need to. I'm just dwindle away. Off. And that's how you dwindle away. That's, that's <laughs> dwindle correct. away. For most people, though, it's them gaining a lot of weight. And that's because they're eating garbage throughout the day. Mm -hmm. um, they're ordering something fast off Uber Eats. Now, you guys can utilize that tool. You really can to or, get good stuff. Yeah, for good or you can utilize it for bad. Yeah. And, my examples are, listen, you can get haagen on there, uh, Five Guys, you can McDonald's, you can get all these different things that they offer and most of the people go for those little fast options. Or listen, you can find some place that is like a grill place and, and order grilled chicken specifically. Right. Like you can order a fish or stuff like that. Like, white rice. Like it's very simple and easy to do this and eat this. Um, you I just, have to be like that all day, every no. day. You can have, you know, you can still eat the, the, the good stuff per se. You know, good stuff may not be good for you anymore. It starts tasting a little different, I think. I think once you get past <laughs> a certain point, like, yeah, literally, you'll taste this stuff. And it tastes like garbage. You don't want it. You might think, like, mentally, like, oh, my God, I can't wait to eat this. 
and then you eat it, and you're then like, you get it. You're like, man, like this wasn't that good, and now I'm regretting eating this thing because I, you know, I work so hard right now. Yeah, uh, I do know that feeling. You know that feeling after you've done it, right? You're putting in the hard work for yourself. Yeah, that's another thing. Like your partner's pushing you per se, right? You're getting upset with them, but it's like for you, like that. That's for you. Like there might be benefiting maybe if you start looking better, you know, in the bedroom and stuff like that, <laughs> um, on the beach or whatever. But the main thing is it's for you. Like it'll help you health wise. Like we know that activity um, in any form, you know, some people fitness, right? Lifting some weights or doing cardiovascular um, exercises, but other people listen, they can start walking. Yeah. You can, I mean, some places I'm not a, I'm not a hike. big fitness chick to be quite honest with you. So, I mean, he's had to like kind of force feed me the gym for uh, our whole relationship and some. So, you know, <laughs> best thing to do, you know, for people out there that are not into that, if you have a dog, walk your dog. Um, you know, if it's nice outside, go for a jog out. It, you know, going for a jog outside to me personally is just a lot funner or just I enjoy it better than going to a gym on a treadmill. It's just my personal, just, I like it like that. I like the weather, you know, I can see what's going on. You know, it might be different for you. Go do something with your kid. Go to a trampoline park. You know, go to roller skating. Yeah. Go do something that requires you to walk. Bush Gardens. You know, go to one of the theme parks because you got to walk around there. Dude, right? even even uh, like laser tag. Like, yeah. If you run around during laser tag, you can be lazy in that and sit in one place and snipe people. I mean, day. I guess you could. You're, but gonna, you're not going to have the high score, you though. Can, you can run around and stuff like that, too. <laughs> and that's that's active. Like you And you're, you're having fun doing it, right? You're not even thinking, like... Because some people get stuck on the treadmill or run outside and they just don't want to do it. Like, you know, like, God, I don't want to be doing this. Mm -hmm. But if you're not thinking about it and you're doing the activity, like you're having fun, mm -hmm. that's that's the most beneficial thing because, A, you're having fun. And, two, you're, you're doing activity, which is helping your health. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of people lose track of that, and I think that's a big thing out there. Yeah. I, I think that people literally should... Um, you know, focus on these different things and baby steps that they need to. Mm -hmm. But listen, don't go all hardcore if you haven't done anything in a while, because you're going to be so sore <laughs> or you know achy. Or, oh, I don't want to ever do this. And then again. you don't. And then you won't do it. Don't do I, that. I've done that. I don't know. I probably you know every like once a year I would do that with John, and then I would just give up, and yeah. I honestly just wouldn't go to the gym. Don't do that. I just wouldn't, and it's not good for him either. Because honestly, he likes going to the gym, right? He that he needs the gym. I need the like, gym. Mentally. Like, mentally. Not even, like, just physically. He needs it mentally. Yeah. You know, everybody has their outlet. That's his outlet. You know, so, you know, I don't want to hold him back from going to the gym. So, I just use, try to utilize that to push him, to push me. And then both of us can go and look, look great, feel great, be great, mm -hmm. you know, be healthy. Mm -hmm. um, and just try to utilize it for the positives and yeah. not you know the negatives i mean honestly it should be created a bond with you guys going to the gym and, and doing this and if you're a guy don't don't think that every activity that you do or exercise is going to be good for the female because mm. um, that's not true i mean at that point most of the exercises are to a certain degree if you're using machines and stuff like that some guys they don't like machines it's all about free weights you know make sure if you're doing this that you know what you're doing you're supporting your partner if she's doing this and just starting off, especially with free weights. Mm -hmm. You know, machines, it's a little bit easier. It's isolated movements, it's more protective. So, I, you know, if you're just starting off, I always tell people, listen, start with machines. You don't have to go to free weights, right? Now, some people have injuries, and with those injuries, it restricts movement um, or the way that they can start a movement. And for me, like it's shoulders, right? So, you know, some of those machines, it doesn't do good because I have to go in a certain motion up and that might hurt me. And if it's hurting you, don't do it. You know, that whole no pain, no gain thing, that mm -hmm. doesn't go for injuries. That yeah. goes for, like, if you're sore the next day, right, you're going to get you know, <laughs> some pain, right, but you're going to get the gains out of it. But the biggest thing is, is, like, you can do free weights, and if you're doing free weights, it's more of a, a free motion. Just do a lighter weight, and you can actually do the free motion. You can do movements and have those muscles fire, you know, be actively firing away and, without hurting yourself. Well, the same thing goes for females. And I'm sure I could probably relate to a few guys out there because this is how I felt, you know. If you do decide to go work out with your man, um, you know, they might be pushing all kinds of weight, you know. That might not be, obviously, you're going to be pushing baby weights compared to them, you know. So don't feel like you, you can't work out with them because you're not on the same level mm -hmm. because you guys can technically do the same exercise just at different weights now let's say that you don't like that exercise because there are a couple exercises that john does that i'm like eh, i don't want to do that one because it's going to make me feel uncomfortable here and i don't like it here and i'm just i don't want to do it you know what you could do is if you're well versed in the gym go set your girl up 
somewhere where she can do a, like an actual exercise. Yeah. Be like, here, this is how you do it. Yeah. Let me show you how to do it. Yeah. And then let her be. Yeah. So there's many ways to get around it. I mean, listen, if you guys need to, you guys can go online. I know with Type Medical Center here, we, we have programs and stuff like that, like videos and stuff of, of different exercises. So we'll catch John on that. a lot of different things that we can help <laughs> you guys out with. But um, that's the end, guys. We'd it's like never to, the end. We'd love to talk about this uh, just for today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, it, it's, it's been a great show. Thank you guys again for tuning in for Cupid's Corner every Sunday on ABC, 11 a.m. Um, and Easter Sunday, that one's going to be actually moved to Saturday at 5.30 p.m. Just a heads up because we're going to do an Easter program and everything like that. So we appreciate it. Tune in. And if you miss it on the TV show or you want to watch it again, go to our YouTube channel, Type Medical Center, or Facebook or IGTV, you guys can catch the full episodes on there too. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week on Cupid's Corner. See you then.